Sarah's with us in Des Moines, Iowa. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, so I was calling because um, I need to know what you suggest on getting my husband on board. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything I ask him to. He's following the envelope system. He's doing everything like that. But he's not engaging or changing his mindset, and he doesn't want to be part of the budget meeting. What do you want? What should I do? Okay. Um, how old are you guys? Um, almost, or 29. We how? just got married in the end of September. Oh, wow. You're brand new married. Yes, and we decided to start this. Okay, cool. What's he do for a living? He's a apprentice plumber. Okay. And um, what's his dad do for a living? Um, he's retired. What did he do for a living? Um, he was... Um, and, oh, what's it called? Something for DZ here in Des Moines. He did, like, um, research and development. That's what it's called. Okay. Do you think his mom handled the money in his house growing up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was guessing. Okay. So uh, what I hear is a guy who works with his hands, and uh, he's used to come, bring, bringing the bacon and coming home and throwing it on the table. And mm -hmm. it's what he watched his dad do his whole life. And mom took care of the money. And so now he just got married, and he thinks it's going to work that way there. Because that's how it worked before we got married. Yeah, yeah. That's how it worked his whole life, watching it. It's the only model he's had. And he's not a bad guy. He's a hard-working guy, and his parents are great guys. They're great folks, too. There's nothing wrong with that. It just is not the most efficient model. And so he's looking at you like you're from another planet when you're describing this weird way of doing things versus how he grew up. <laughs> yes. Okay. He does. Yeah, so this is not like him being obstinate or a bad husband. You've been married a whole month. He can't be a bad husband. Oh, okay. no, he is perfect. Yeah. Yes. Well, except for this one little thing, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would do is say, is just say this to him. Just say, listen, uh, let's try something different. I need your help as my man. I want your, I want you to emotionally carry this weight i don't mind doing the math part but i want you to grasp where the money's going so that we're making our decisions our big decisions together and then i'll write the checks out i'll make sure the bills are paid and um but but i i, I need you to carry the weight of this household with me as my man okay that guy that we're talking about can hear it if you say it that way Mm -hmm. And this is with the TV off, no interferences, yeah. and you looking deeply into his eyes. I need you to ask my man to help me carry the weight of this house. That guy will hear yeah. that, won't he? Well, can I ask one more question? Yes, ma'am. Um, so I want to go to the Money and Marriage here in Des Moines, and he does not think that we should go. Oh, well, I'll give you a pair of tickets. And since you got free tickets, now you have to go. Hold on.